the alternative to the Sardar plan, modernisme at the foot of the Kulsarola mountains. In San Gervasi, modernisme is concentrated at the feet of the Kulsarola mountains. This artistic style, all the rage at the end of the 19th century, was chosen by the bourgeoisie, who built their palaces on the Avinguda Tibidabo, by the nobility, for the Torre Bella Squar, or for the clergy, for the convent of Valdonceia. Our route begins by working its way up the Avinguda Tibidabo, an urban project created by Dr. Andreu, a famous pharmacist known for his recipe for cough drops. This is where he carried out his idea of a garden city at the feet of Colzarola, a residential area where the wealthy could come to summer. He also imagined a grand theme park on top of the mountain and means of transportation capable of scaling the peak, the Tramvia Blau and the Funicula del Tibidabo. At that time, the Catalan economy was on the rise. Many of the wealthy were so-called Indians, who had made their money in the Americas, and others were involved in Catalonia's bustling textile industry. There were large amounts of wealth in private hands, and a great deal of it was invested in art and architecture. Modernista architecture was the perfect vent for so much wealth, and this avenue was built according to the architectural style in vogue at the time. Modernisme is also present in the religious art of the convent of Valdonceia, home to a small community of Cistercian nuns. Nearby, science and modernista architecture come together in the Cosmokaisha Museum of Science. Our itinerary continues up to the cemetery of San Gervasi, where we can find important modernista works in funerary architecture. They are often highly symbolic, addressing concepts like peace and eternal rest. However, if there's one truly representative piece of modernista architecture in San Gervasi, it's the Torre Bellasguard, our last stop. This monument shows a lesser-known face of Gaudí, with a more lineal, straight-lined architecture and shapes unusual to his style.